Ah, hello. See, right there in my notes. Hello. This is an update about my Bible recording videos that uh, I've been sharing on YouTube. So, I've repaired the Bible some here. You see? Um, I'll show you. The spine was torn. It was coming apart right along. It was just getting worse and worse. So when I opened it, it would just flop. And I was worried that it was getting worse. It was at least hard to control. And so uh, I did some Googling about popular book binding glues. And it turns out wood glue is popular, which is great. Because that stuff's cheap and I had some in the house. So I got a paintbrush and a piece of paper. And I uh, I painted it in here. You know, and then in, in here. And I put a piece of paper over it. To protect it so this page doesn't get glued with the, the stuff that squeezed out. And then I put a, a book on it with about five pounds of steel on top of that. And then a clamp. I have carpentry clamp that clamped this way. And uh, so now that's that's better. This 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 reverenced family Bible I wasn't allowed really to touch as a child is now in much better condition. Which is great. That's probably the third best thing I've done with this Bible in my life. Probably the most important, the first most superlatively best thing is, of course, to read it. Because reading the Bible is how we get to know the mind of God. You can have a thousand books on your shelves, but if you don't read them, then they're not really your books. The second best thing you can do with the Bible is to share it, which you read it with others. You read it out loud where others can hear it. You discuss it. Um, and the third best thing, I think, is to, to, to reverence them and maintain them in good condition so that they can be, you know, shared and so they can be read and studied. And so that's what I've done. I've made it better. We've kept it from getting worse. All right, and then... Um, the main thing is there's a format change in my videos. They were, some of them, really long. I think the longest one was about 25 minutes. So I'm cutting that down. What I'm going to do is, oh, I need to include the date. I just made a video explaining all this, and I had to re-record it because I forgot to mention one of the important points. So I've got uploads up to the 22nd. So starting on the 23rd of this month. I'm going to have shorter videos, but I'll do several each day instead of one big one. I'll have pretty much one chapter per video, unless the psalm is really short. And then um, that'll that'll just piggyback on one of the chapters on either side of it. Um, but the long videos, I think, were probably laborious and discouraging to people so I'll make short videos that they can feel a little a little more free to watch when they want to let's see here the candle I like talking about the candle because my wife and I made it it's a fun hobby that we may or may not continue so far it's leaning more toward not but we still have the supplies but I want to mention it also because it um only got about 25 or 30 percent left so i'll be replacing that candle soon let's see here oh my ring i want to point out my ring i don't know who's noticed but sometimes i wear my my fancy one with the with the with the with the stones in it and the cross and that was that was great it belonged to my grandfather and then sometimes i wear a, a plain gold one there was even one time i did a video i didn't have any ring at all to put on because that's the way it worked out that day when I got up. But most of the time, you'll see I'm wearing this, this rubber one. This number 117 Buna rubber O-ring. And the reason for that is I'm basically a mechanic. I'm, I'm a maintenance mechanic in a highly dynamic mechanical environment. And if a machine catches on this, then this will break. It's just rubber. That's the weakest part of the whole, the whole, the whole situation. But uh, a metal one would be much, much stronger than all of this soft material that my, 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 my finger is made of. So 
the machine would grab this and pull it and it would take the skin and stuff with it. That's called degloving and we don't like that at all. It's, it's destructive and painful from what I hear. And um, so to prevent that, I have something that breaks away. Also, I'll be expected to do electrical work soon as part of my mechanical job. And uh, of course, gold being an excellent, well, gold's a pretty good conductor. And that would help me to become part of an electrical circuit in the case of an accident. And I don't want that either. That's painful. Nobody likes it. Okay. And then difficulty of the videos. Well, I mean, some of these names, holy cow. I mean, you guys might have noticed in Ezra and Nehemiah, they were just catalogs of difficult foreign names. That was hard. But um, that's actually part of the reason for my format change is when I do my practice reading, I, I force myself through these names and I think I get them. And then... I finish all the rest of the chapters I plan to record, and then by the time I get back to the beginning, I've forgotten largely how to pronounce these names or where a sentence ran through because sometimes we have complex sentences that that look a little different from what they sound. So the uh, the sentences and the names will be a little less difficult in a shorter format. And uh, that'll be if it's if it's less work for me to do, then it'll be less work for you to hear. Let's see. I've told you the date. That'll be starting on the twenty third of this month. What's this? June of twenty twenty three. All right. Thank you.